everyone in our class. This is Mrs. Johnson and um, I wanted to show you a tutorial today on how to draw hands. Hands are one of the most difficult things for people to draw and something that everybody likes to draw but uh, has a difficult time with. Uh, so I'm going to show you some basic techniques to uh, draw hands and then this, for this project what I want you to do is draw your hand and then create it into a world of your own. It can be abstract uh, or it can be realistic, but be creative with this. Uh, here's an example of two hands that uh, went really abstract on that one. Here's this one where a hand was grabbing an eyeball as a chess piece. Um, so very, very strange and abstract. Go for it and be creative. Here's one that's a little more, I guess it's realistic, realistically drawn, but um, it is still an abstract drawing. You can, those are all my examples, but I do have some student examples too. This is one where they turn the hand into a tree, and that looks really cool. And I have one additional one that did the same thing. Uh, turn the hand into a tree. So that's what I would like you to do. I know you might not have drawing paper, but you can do this on regular copy paper. Try to avoid doing it on line paper if you can. Um, but uh, that's going to be the project is learning the basics of how to draw a hand. And I'll give you some worksheets to practice on that. And then um, you can also watch this video uh, a couple of times to get the basics. And then to create your own abstract hand in a drawing okay so let's get started with um, how you're going to start drawing a hand when you look at your hand here there's some basic shapes here um, and that, that's how I start is I start with the basic shape of the palm it's kind of like a, a wonky looking square and then your fingers have a different shape so when I'm drawing that I'm looking at my hand and I'm going to draw the basic shape that I see. So again, here is, it's kind of a square, but it has a um, one side that's not very square. Um, and I'm going to draw pretty dark so you guys can see in this video, but when you're doing this, um, I would like you to draw pretty light. Okay, then what I'm going to do is draw the shape that I see here for the fingers. I'm not drawing the individual fingers yet. I just drew the shape that I see. And then for my thumb, which I'm sorry, it's off the page. I'm also going to draw the shape that I see and not the actual fingers yet. Okay, so then you have the basic shapes of that. I'm also going to put my wrist in there because we don't want this to have a floating hand. All right, so um, when you're starting with this, you have the basic shape of the palm, and then you want to start with the fingers. What I do is I start with ovals. So we have one finger that's an oval there. We have the middle finger that's a little bit taller. It's an oval here. The ring finger is a little bit smaller. And then the pinky finger. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to do these ovals that do the sections of your finger. So we have, if you can see where the, the crease of your finger go, I'm doing the sections of the finger like this. And again, I know this looks very rough right now, but um, this is just the basics of how you get started in drawing so your perspective is on track. Okay, for the thumb, if you look at my thumb, instead of three sections like all your fingers, there's two. So I'm going to do this one section and one additional. Okay, then if I look, there's these lines in my hand and that shows where the directions of my palm are. And I'm just going to draw those in there. All right, so then what we have is the basic shape of what a hand is going to be. And now we're going to refine that. This whole time I want you to do this, when you're doing this, you can practice with my drawing, but when you're um, creating your own, I want you to look at your hand. Most of this is observational skills. 
So what I'm going to then do is start to refine and look at look at my hand the entire time and draw what I see. Okay, I see those little creases in my fingers, so I'm going to get those in there. And this is a little bit wider. And again, I'm drawing really dark so that you guys can see my pencil marks, but when you're drawing, draw lightly. Um, I have a saying that's always, draw light until it's right, and then, um, then you can go from there. And my pinky in my original sketch is a little too close in, so I'm moving it out just a little bit. Okay, so now I have the basic shape of the fingers. And I'm going to work on the rest of it. When the thumb comes in, it comes in like this. And excuse me, my son is bouncing around in the, in the background. So that's the noise that you hear is him having a good old time in his bouncy seat. Okay. So that's the basic on how to do a hand. Um, and then what you would do the next step, if you like this hand and this is the one you want for your, your final drawing, you would start to erase some of your directional lines and then work on shading. I know some of you have had shading before and some of you haven't, but that's okay. I just want you to give it a try. When I do shading, I do the direction in which the finger is. So it goes around like this. So I have shading that goes around like that. Just look at it. The whole thing isn't shaded. If you look at my finger, this looks a little darker here. This looks a little darker here, and it's a little lighter there. So that's what I would do when I'm doing shading. Okay. So what I want you to do is practice doing some hand drawings. Then practice changing your, your position of your hand and drawing what you see. And... After you do that for a couple of times, then I want you to go ahead and get started with the project. And um, remember, you're doing a hand in some kind of world of your own, okay? But when you're doing this, a lot of it is observational skills. So if you look at what I've just done here, all I'm doing is looking at the my hand and the way it is bent. And I'm doing really rough sketches of what I see. And then you have the start of a hand. Okay? So <clears throat> I want you to have fun with this and learn how to draw hands and um, get creative and come up with something neat to turn in. Okay? Have fun!